welcome to the video. So today's video is something a little different, as you can see. If you did not read the title, today we're going to be trying something that I have branded Bikini Baking with Claire. So basically my idea with this is that I don't love cooking, but I like baking. And then like, who doesn't love bikinis? Brainstorming master. I'm like nervous. I haven't changed anything up on my channel in years. So basically, if you like this video, let me know because I will continue to make more. And if you don't like this video, don't say anything because it will hurt my feelings. Nah, just kidding, that was a joke. But let me know what you think of this concept. And I think it could be fun if you really like it to do bikini baking with heels when I reach certain subscriber milestones. By the way, we just hit 100,000 subscribers. So pat on my back. And thank you, but I think it could be fun if I hit like 150,000 and then 200, then 250, I can do a special bikini baking with high heels episode. Also, this will not be the only angle of the video. I do plan to show you, you know, the full body view, but we're gonna start with this part. So the camera's gonna be right here right now. But yeah, before we get into the video, a couple things. First of all, if you don't follow me on my other platforms, including my exclusive content and my Instagram, my website with all of those is linked in the description below. And secondly, I just got back from a vacation to Belize a couple days ago. I got so many bug bites there and they still haven't fully healed. So for example, if you can see on my butt, I have like... After all that being said, let's get into the video. Today we will be making something simple. I picked this up at the grocery store and was like, you know, episode one is going to be boxed mix because... I feel like we could definitely expand the series into complicated recipes, which would be super fun and make for like longer form videos as well. But being the business girly that I am, I wanted to, you know, test the waters first. Um, and instead of baking something super complex, we're gonna start with something very simple. And you guys, let me know if you like this type of video, okay? Because I'm excited about this series, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, did you notice that I matched this to the outfit? This thing is actually really cool. It's called Govi, like strip lights, and you can change everything about it. Like, you can make it extra bright, you can make it different colors, but I think it's like cool to have it pink and then not too bright because it's a little distracting. Today we are baking Funfetti brownies with candy bits. I am allergic to all nuts and things made in a place with nuts. So for me, I never eat desserts out at restaurants because I don't know about like cross contamination. So I don't have much experience with different types of desserts. Like never had cheesecake, never had a lot of that stuff. So if I want a dessert, I have to make it and I don't really cook or bake that much. That's why I thought this could be really fun because this can, you know, get me into a new hobby. Being that I've only tried a limited amount of desserts, brownies, probably my favorite. So that's why for this first episode, I picked out Funfetti brownie mixed with candy bits. Oh, also, can we just thank my mom for my cookware? Like, matching everything. Thank you. She got me a whole cooking set for my 21st birthday. I'm not 21 anymore, but... <laughs> The instructions. Number one, this is a three step process, pretty easy. Set the oven to 350. Okay. Wow. Step two, beat water, oil, egg in a bowl. So we're gonna start with the water. Fourth cup of water. I'm gonna fill it up from my fridge because this is filtered. Fourth cup of water. Two thirds cup of oil. Got some vegetable oil over here. Oh my God, two thirds. That's so much, that's kind of gross. See like, <laughs> the thing is, I like baking better than cooking, but like it's so much more unhealthy. So maybe this series, you know, will evolve to cooking with Claire in a bikini, but that didn't have as good of a ring to it. And then I can learn how to cook new recipes, but hold your horses, like we're gonna start here. Actually making this and not eating it is making me not want to eat it because it's unhealthy. <laughs> See, this needs to be more clear. It says, beat water, oil, and egg. Singular egg. Yeah, it says I need two eggs, so they definitely should have made that a plural. This is the type of stuff that I notice. Like, I'm gonna assume we do both eggs, okay? But like, I'm a good proofreader. In Belize at the golf cart rental, I noticed that their sign said like, you're in the wrong form. And I'm like, you guys need to hire people to proofread your stuff because I notice errors like in many things. And I always point them out because it's just fascinating to me how 
no one caught that, you know? So for example, I'm gonna email Pillsbury guy and tell him he should put eggs plural. <gasps> oh my God, this would be so fun to do with a whisk. This is the only whisk I have. All of my like kitchen supplies are things that my mom gave me. Like this, what is this? I don't know. And then the whisk I have isn't like metal, it's like squishy. Oh, all right, I'm just laughing because it's it literally, maybe I take back my critique on the instructions because this says, says stir until blended, about 50 strokes. Like they're being very specific here. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Time to mix the oil, eggs, and water. I used to have a larger bowl than this, but when I moved into this apartment, I broke it because the box wasn't taped enough on the bottom and it fell. So that's really great because these are beautiful bowls. Like I'm really glad that that happened. This looks great so far. Then it says, add the brownie mix and stir until blended. About 50 strokes. I don't know if this bowl is going to be big enough. Like. I'm gonna need to go buy a new bowl if you guys like this series because there isn't enough room. Crap, I really don't have enough room in here. Oh my God, what do I do? Oh my God, there's not enough room. This is a disaster. Okay. Mm. Got one. We are gonna be a little untraditional and mix it in here. Here we go. Mmm, should I eat this? No, I'm not gonna eat it because you guys will judge me for eating it because it has a rye in it. I'm not gonna eat it. Actually, you know what could be cool? I, could, I should get clear mixing bowls so you can see what I'm doing. Now we're gonna do another mix with my spatula and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm sure you all have seen brownie butter before, but this is special because it was made by me. In a bikini. Can you see? Is it working? Next step is to spread it into a pan. I don't know if I'm supposed to grease the pan. Doesn't tell me to. All right. Now we pour this into the pan evenly. Vibes. Um, all right. I guess we'll just wait here. Should I lick it? Nah, I'm not gonna lick it. That tastes great though. It tastes great. A very neat person. As you can see, my space has been being cleaned as I'm cooking. Like, my apartment has Samsung appliances. They're so cute. Like, when the washer goes off and the dryer goes off, it plays a song for like 20 seconds and it's adorable. I just want to give them a hug. After that, it says sprinkle the candy coated chips evenly and bake immediately, okay? Immediately. So that was literally perfect timing. Pan size, 13 by nine. Look at me, look at me. I like to build things, so I have a tape measure, like a real one. Um, 13 by nine, that's this. Just had to make sure. <laughs> 28 to 31 minutes? Y'all, we're gonna run out of time. I have a, a, an appointment at 12.30. 28 minutes, here we go, going in the oven. And now, I'll switch the camera angle for you, okay? I'll switch it. Camera angle switched. But now that we have the full body view, kind of, here's this bikini. I wore this in Belize for like a little photo shoot. Pictures turned out very cute, which you can see on my Instagram if you follow my Instagram. It's so cute. This is from Shein. Here's what the back looks like. Can you see the bug bites on me though? Oh my God, I just realized before I changed the camera angle, I did not sprinkle the bits on here. We're gonna have to improvise and do it like this and let's hope I don't drop it. All right. Oh my god, these are huge. Like, this looks delicious. It, it's exactly like those, um, what is it, Cosmic Brownies? I, I never tried one of those before because I think they're made in a place with nuts, but it looks exactly like that. That also reminds me, here, let me, let me put this in, because I'm running out of time. Oh my. I'm going to invent a mask that you wear when you put something in the oven so that your face does not get burned off. We'll do 25 minutes because 28 to 32 seems a little excessive. But what I was saying, those little brownies reminded me of something you might find funny. Since I have a nut allergy, whenever I went to school in like elementary school, they sectioned me off at a different part of the table. So I had to sit behind a taped line with the kids with the peanut allergies. Now we're gonna wait 25 minutes-ish and hopefully I can, you know, film the outro of this video before I have to leave for my appointment. Should I take some thumbnails? Okay, so I'm gonna take some thumbnails, so I will speed this up if you'd like to watch. All right, I think that's good. 
Something should be good in there. I have four candy chips that fell out of the bag. Also, do you see my tan line? I'm actually going to Costa Rica in five days too. Um, so I'm gonna get even more tan. All right, we're gonna try the candy chips. Oh, yes. I've never had M&Ms before, but this reminds me of what those might taste like based on how they look with like the candy and the chocolate. Anyways, we have 20 minutes left on the timer and I'm gonna go watch TikTok while I wait. Instead of taking a TikTok break, I took the Instagram pictures for this video and it was like this with like my thumb here and it looked pretty cute. Also, conveniently, my lash tech was like, can you do 1 p.m.? I was like, yes. The brownies just got done and I would not have made it in time. So now I have time to finish this video. Everything always works out for me. That's a good affirmation to have. It's a good affirmation to have. Now we're gonna take this out of the oven. I have these adorable hedgehog and porcupine um, oven mitts that my grandma made me. Oh, they look so good. Are they done? There's nothing on there. I'm just gonna start poking holes in it. Oh no, I'm gonna make it ugly. I'm gonna do another four minutes. Listen, it's kind of giving fire alarm. I think it's done. I smell like it's burning now. See, I'm so afraid of cooking. Like I don't, I don't like ovens. That's why I bought my air fryer. Now we're gonna let it cool and then I'll plate it and taste test it for you. All right, here's what we got. Here's the final product. I'm gonna cut it. It's kind of gushy. Oh my God. Because they're still gonna taste the same. Yeah, I probably need to let them cool more. Okay. See, they're kind of mushy. They're too hot. This one is worthy of a close up. There we go. Brownie. Taste test time. Welcome to Taste Test Saturday. Here we are. Definitely still too hot. Pretty good. I think it would be more fun if the candy bits were like bigger because then you could like crunch them. I would rate the taste of that like seven out of 10. Like it's good, it's a brownie. Is it the best brownie I've ever had? No, but it's also still not cooled and I'm in a rush. But yeah, that's my critique. Pillsbury, make sure you make the bits bigger so that I can crunch them because it would add a nice contrast. Sign me up for a chef judging show. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this new video idea. If you are interested in checking out the other platforms that I'm on, I do have a page with exclusive content and you can find my Instagram and other platforms linked on my website in the description below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.